This is the one that we've been talking about all night, Mr. Elijah. This was my pick for fight of the night. These are two guys with very interesting stories as pro boxers. Our first pro fight of the night, it's a light heavyweight matchup between Chris Green and Zane Fry. And we see stepping into the cage now is Zane Fry, a guy who I've seen compete and take the toughest fights, the toughest matchups, and lose. One and six, that's his career. His, his first pro win was against Joe Thompson, who we see now, that's kind of an impressive win looking yeah. back on it Way. with the success Joe's been having. Way impressive. And I, I saw uh, Zane Fry way back in his amateur career take a loss. The first time I ever saw him, he fought Ricky Luckadoo. He took who a, is from South Carolina. is an absolute killer. And he fought him. Took a hard loss that night. Zane never shies away from a tough fight. No, he's always he's obsessed with the sport. And now it's all finally coming together for him. He's been training with Jerry Page, Olympic gold medalist. And he started putting things together. For, see, that's the thing. He was working on his own for a yeah, long time. For all of trying to be a coach, but he's like, I don't. I need to get the tools myself. So he starts working with Jerry Page. Like I say, an Olympic gold medalist level trainer. Yeah. And Jerry Page is starting to put things together for Zane Fry. He's taking that, putting it to use at his own gym, teaching these guys. And we've seen his guys are undefeated at New Line Cage Fighting, I do believe. Zane Sports, a 1-6 and six record come into this. But this is Zane Fry 2.0, if you will. Absolutely. I heard, you know, our former champion, Jeremy Karshner, told me that Zane Fry Who's, he's been training there with him, with Jerry Page as well. We saw he was the guy who turned Karshner from an MMA fighter to a boxer and made leaps and bounds with him. Now he said, Fry's with us, and he's not the same man he was six months ago. But I'll tell you who's somebody who has evolved and changed. Chris Green. Chris Green, hometown kid from Madison, West Virginia. He's got his hometown crew in the corner, Brandon Boggs very accredited pro fighter and Chris Green's never been more confident he's never been in more better shape he definitely looks confident and Chris definitely looks like he's in great shape Chris so, is so a guy say. Chris is a guy who I've always been impressed with his attitude as well both these guys never let a loss get them down they come back stronger and that's what takes a true fighter. That's what you heard in Zane's walkout song, that speech from Rocky. It's not about how hard you hit, it's how hard you can get hit and keep going. So we are at bout number 12. This is the first professional fight of the night. This is a professional light heavyweight boxing contest. First up, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a veteran of seven professional fights, coming all the way from Columbus, Ohio. This is the, the event DJ at every NLC event. Zane Fry! <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner. He's a veteran of three professional fights. He's undefeated in New Ryan Case fighting action. From Madison, West Virginia, Christopher Green! with a big pop from the crowd, hometown favorite. Both these guys are veterans of uh, NLC. They've been here before. And both two, two, a two, a, two of the nicest guys you'll come across in the sport as well. And this is a crossroads fight for both of them. This is a fight that means a lot. Chris Green trying to do it in his hometown. I'm going to look for Zane to come out and be very, uh, a lot of volume early on. Both men methodical approach here. Footwork looking good. Chris Green overextending a little bit, but he yeah. clips him a little with the right hand. But Zane, don't it's, it's like a the way he rushed him with that body. Dangerous shot. thing to do. You want to set that up a little better. I'd like to see Zane work his jab here. Really get behind that jab. Zane always looks so technical and so sharp. The thing that he was always lacking was head movement, mm -hmm. defensive skills. That's something I expect he's worked a ton he, on. He, he looks like he has some pretty good head movement working already, along with that already good foot. The art of hitting and not getting hit, and that's the big thing Zane He ate a needed. big body shot right there from Chris Green. Smart of Chris Green to work the body early on. Chris pops out his own jab right there. 
nice left hook from quick, Zane. Quick he, flurry. He from looked Zane. to exit, but Chris caught him with his own left hook as he tried to exit. And, and Zane threw another, too. They both traded left hooks there at the end of that exchange. Chris. A couple of nice jabs from Fry. Chris is a tough and resilient fighter as well. He's one of those guys. And it's interesting. Chris's last win was a knockout victory over a guy who stopped Zane Fry in the first round. Yeah, fighting never really. Oh, beautiful movement by Zane. And we see Bobbing and weaving. that's what he needed to work on. Beautiful work. But he's, he's he missing needs, Chris. He, Chris he, he used some good a, head movement himself there. He needs to tighten those punches up a little bit. And I believe he'll catch him. I like how Zane's working behind his jab tonight. He's getting everything going off that jab first. Nice left hook and a cross behind him. Nice body shot. He reached a little bit for that, but it landed. Green acknowledged it too. He's smart. Oh, Green with his Green, own nice. Green landed a beautiful let, right hook to the body in the middle of that exchange. They're trading body shots in there, Elijah. Nice, nice, nice crisp stiff jab. jab. Green's coming on strong here, but Fry's keeping him at bay with that jab a little bit. That really was an excellent oh. right hand left hook to the body from Zane Fry. Beautiful left hook. Zane's really he starting to find his timing and rhythm. He dug for that left hook. I'd like to see him dig for that left and hook. And again. again. Dig for that left hook, Elijah, and then come up with the left hook, the check left up top. And I think, you know, this is a long fight, pro rounds. Four rounds. Three minutes, three minute rounds, and we got four rounds. Digging to the body is going to pay dividends late in this fight. We got fight. 10 seconds left on this one. Chris Green, though, does not stop. He's oh. a guy who's constantly coming forward. You have to put him away. A big right hand by Zane. Oh, and a left hook follows it. And, and he smiles. He knows he caught him there at the end of the round. Chris Green walking back to his corner with a smile, too. These guys both love fighting. Chris Green's dog tough. He's a guy who, like I say, you're, it's, you're not going to have an easy night with him. Big, big hooks to the body from Green. Zane Fry comes up top on the replay there at that check left hook. Look at this check left hook. And we see Bill Browning. Boom. In the corner Beautiful. there. They've just started this gym in downtown Madison. I'm sure that's paid a lot of dividends for Chris Green, you know, having a nice gym to train at with guys like Brandon Boggs, Bill Browning coaching him. Having a team around you makes a world of difference. Definitely it does. But you have to have a ton of confidence if you're sitting in the corner of Zane Fry right now toward the end of that round because he had a lot of success. Zane looks good. He's not breathing heavy at all. He looks uh, composed. Well, here's the question. Have you ever seen Zane Fry get tired? I haven't. I really don't think he's ever faded in a I've fight. I've seen him in some tough fights, and in a tough fight, you're going to lose some energy. Dog but, tired? No. I've never seen him just. That's a big big edge for Zane, having seven pro fights, seven fights where, you know, he's went the distance in a lot of them. He's a guy who knows how to go into deep water and well, survive. Zane's a 20 to 30 fight veteran now. He had 10 or 15 amateur fights also. and He's a, he's a real veteran. He's been in there. He knows how to fight. Good movement there. And you talk about... Oh, he ate a big that right was hand, though. A he, huge, huge jab from Chris oh, Green. And a big, big body shot. Ooh, and he barely got, missed with the right hand. That, that would have hurt that, Zane Fry I, there. He I doesn't. tell you what, it looks pretty and all that, but uh, it's not the correct movement you want to do in there against a guy like Chris Green. He was just out of the way of that. If it would have landed, it would have. It could have closed the show. Chris, Chris looks, Green's getting closer as gonna, well. Oh, and he loses balance there. Zane just shoves him down, but Chris right back up. Chris looks like he's trying to take this round over here. That's the thing, though. You got to wonder if Chris can sustain this pace for four rounds because he's really fighting at a hard pace. That's what's making it so tough for Zane to really get off because Chris is constantly in his face, constantly making him work. I believe those body shots are going to start playing real dividends in the next round. Excellent work from for Chris, Chris Green. Green. But he Zane Fry caught, says that it was below the belt. If we see a third and fourth round, I'd like to see Zane's stamina then. Because Chris Green is repetitively going to that body. And he's, and he's starting to make Zane whiff on his punches a little bit. Zane is bleeding from his mouth. I'm still very impressed with the defensive work of Zane Fry, though. You definitely see improvements here. A lot of improvements. 
See, so head off the center. Oh, line. a nice Beautiful check left. Beautiful left hook. And right nine. hand. Beautiful right and the left. Chris Green's output starting to slow. Yeah, he's definitely slowing down a bit here. I'd like to see Zane get behind that jab like he was in the first. Chris, a little wild there coming forward. And that's the difference I see right now between Zane Fry. Big right and hand as Chris Green tries to Chris enter. Green's, Zane Fry's seeing everything right now. Chris Green ducking his head and just winging shots. And I see a man in, in Zane Fry who's really refining his craft of boxing. Who do you give that first round to? I think Zane Fry. Oh, a big right hand on the. As, as and it, I think he may again. have hurt him there. Oh, oh a massive uppercut, uppercut though. He back. Chris Green threw a back fist right there. Can't be throwing back fist in boxing. Got a little wild Zane there. Zane Fry hit Chris Green with a big uppercut. Chris King, Green came back with a right hook and then hit him with a back fist. And you know, that was after Chris had hurt him. Back and forth action Chris Green here. looks a little. Beautiful uppercut and Chris slides away. That's the end of the round. You know, though, that Who did he first. Who that round to? I think Zane came on stronger in the second. That's what I was going to say. I was a little quick to say Zane won the first. It was close. It was a closer close one. Round. I think the second one, though, Zane's coming on stronger. I could see it being 1-1. One, one. Chris breathing kind of hard in the corner here. But Zane Fry is as well. This has been a hard fought Zane, fight so Zane, far for both Zane men. Zane looks a little more composed, though. Zane's Chris been Green, here Chris Green many is taking times some, over. some big breaths. Zane looks a little more like he said, like, all right, I've been well, here before. I know, I know what this feels like. And it's that difference in styles. It's Chris Green's movements are constant, explosive, power push punches. forward movements. Yeah, power, he's always throwing power punches. And then you've got the finesse fighter Look in Zane Fry. He's not throwing everything he's got into every punch. And that shows his experience. Yeah. It really does. We are starting our third round. And here we go. Here we go. They, they touch gloves. We're on sync too much tonight. <laughs> you owe me a coat. <laughs> nice jab to the body from Zane. No. One, two, three attempt fell short from Chris Green. Chris Green's punches are coming slower right now. But oh. those are hard punches, too. If one of those catches oh, you Oh, and flush, a beautiful left hook to the body. Zane, oh man, and Chris catches him, like I said, and he acknowledges it. Zane points down, he says right here in the middle, let's throw down. Zane's trying to make a statement this Oh, they, they collided heads right there a little bit. Really, oh, and a big right hand. Zane right cross. always has his hand oh, back where they're supposed to be. Zane though. hits him with a left hook, a right Oh, and he's right coming cross. on strong, they're blowing here. They said that hell with being technical. Let's just fight. Get behind that jab, Zane. Chris Green, dog tough, still marching forward. He's taken everything that Zane's got and has no sign of stopping. Man, Zane Fry looks like a completely different fighter. He truly does. And it's he always he he always looked good, but he just looks different. Now. It's footwork. It's head movement. He's learning to not only land, but get out of the way as well. Oh, that beautiful. That was nasty. The shots that he's taken in this fight, he used to take and, he, and it will wilt him. Well, you see too, he's moving his head now. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not taking them. Oh, and he's Chris got Chris Green. Green breathing deep here. Zane Fry has to be smelling a little blood, but man, Chris Green watch out. still winging shots. Still dangerous. We got a minute. 10 seconds left to go in this round. And this is what you call deep water. This is where you get to who wants this it is, more, who's This is worked anybody's harder. round still, I feel like. Absolutely. This last minute's gonna determine who takes this round. Beautiful jab from Chris Green. He's gotta get out, or from Zane Fry. But Chris Green has him pressed up against the cage. This is where he could start. Oh, a big it. right hand from Chris Green. Zane Fry keeps the head moving, though. Zane Fry doing, being smart. Lock, Clinching with him. I think Zane's wilting a little bit here. Zane's being smart by getting that clinch, though. He's utilizing something we've not seen tonight. If somebody starts getting ahead of you, work. get a hold of him. That's what Zane did now. They're reset. 
Let's see if Zane can get on top of him again. Zane spits out a little blood. He goes to move around the, but move here around comes the ring right there a little Chris bit. Chris didn't look great. He took a big right hand right there. And landed he his own to, left hook. Zane needs to clinch him up a little bit. Zane took a big breath. Ten seconds left in this I round. I think you're right. I think he's fading a little bit. Let's see if he can recover. Warnings for Chris what Green, though. Maybe rabbit punches or to the back of the head. Five seconds left. And here we go. I think Zane's gonna look. Zane likes to look for that left hook as he's as he's backing out. I feel like Chris Green may have stolen that round. Chris Green has done a very good job tonight of using his head. He'll enter, and every time he enters, he almost headbutts Zane Fry. The ref's not calling it. Well, it's it's he's doing something that you you're almost told not to do. Yeah. He comes in head down. That uppercut should be there for Zane Fry, but so far, nothing Zane Fry has hit Chris Green with is hurting. And he, hit, he has hit him with a lot. Chris Green doesn't have much respect for the power of Zane, so he's able to march through those shots and land his own. Who do you give that round to? I think Chris Green may have stolen it at the end there. This is a close fight, though. It's a very close I fight. I don't envy the judges. I, I think that we could be looking at a scenario where the next three minutes may determine it. Whoever wants it more, whoever goes at the Whoever goes out there and steals these next three minutes is going to be your winner. Zane Fry always looks so calm in the corner, but look at Chris Green here. He He's always collected. He's always dangerous. He's not that, he, you know, he's tired, but he's still very much in this fight as well as and Zane I Fry. I tell you what, the crowd here, they're loving it. I said this had fight of the night potential. So they, far, it's living up to it. I really think this may be fight of the night. They embrace there before they go back to war. I'd like to see that. Two up-and-coming pros here who've really turned a corner yeah. with their skill set. Ooh, a nice little slip there by Zane. Big right hand for Chris Green. And, you know, he's got that hometown advantage if that goes to the judges. That's something to always consider because the sound of this crowd Nice body. Zane's been ripping to the body, but I'm, I'm going to no! tell Oh! Big I, left hook catches Chris Green, but he, he just keeps marching I feel forward. like Chris Green's body work that he had put in earlier did more damage than the body work that Zane has done here. Zane's ripping the body too, but it's just like there, there's a difference in power right here. Zane's a powerful guy. Chris Green has a little bit different type of power. This is just a war of attrition now. The technique is almost out the window. Got two minutes left. Zane doesn't look as clean as he did in that first round. Chris Green, though, stays steady. He Ooh. stays consistent. He just ate a big jab and a right hand behind it, Eliza. And he comes on strong. Keeps marching forward. That's It's hard to deal with a guy like that, but Zane Fry still clobbering him. And then he gets caught again. This has been an absolute dog fight. Oh, man. Zane using slick head movement and footwork to evade Chris Green and get out of that bad situation. But Zane's got to pick up the pace here. This fight is too close, and he's not landing with the tenacity that he did in the early rounds. I think it's fatigue setting in. And we see that the head movement's not quite as there, but Chris Green, it's just, he's tenacious. Zane's been on that. you got to wonder what the judges are looking at as far as Zane being on that bicycle these last few rounds. Big right hand from Zane Fry Chris and a Green's, left. Chris Green's the one in and this, I mean, just like right now, Chris Green's the one marching forward, landing big punches, making Zane have to work on his bicycle. And this crowd's going wild, supporting the hometown favorite, Chris Green. Chris, and that looked like he emptied the tank right there, maybe. He looks very gassed. 30 seconds left. Short time here. Yeah, he's, very, he's sloppy now but to start still, forward. Still coming forward. If Zane could lure him into a big shot. But so far, nothing he's thrown has hurt Chris Green. Very tough guy. You got 10 seconds. You got to leave it all out there in a fight like this. And they're going to, it looks like. Both men trading here at the end. Oh, a big right hand by Chris Green. What a Both fight. these guys left it all out there. They and gave it everything they had. Chris Green until looks the very confident, end. and Zane Fry looks disappointed. 
but you never know how the judges are gonna see this one. This crowd's going crazy for their man, Chris Green. Can I use the word slobber knocker? That was a that slobber was knocker, man. Definitely a slobber knocker. And we still Green got one more to go. On top of the cage, thinking he has it. So far, that was absolutely fight of the night, in my opinion. We got one more to go st still, but Chris Green versus Zane Fry, whoever whoever took it, that's fight of the night. And, and you could even be looking at a scenario where it might be a draw. They might have got two and two there. I mean, those rounds are super close. It's hard to call. Zane looks like he doesn't believe he won there. I thought Zane's won rounds two and three for sure. One was a toss-up. He looked really great in that. But it was a toss-up. Tough fight to call. I'm glad I'm just commentating. our official decision. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds, your judges have come to a decision. Judge one scores it 39-37, blue corner. Judge two has it 37-39, red corner. Judge three scores it. 38, 38. We have a split draw. Oh. I've got Every time we fight. Gentlemen, I'm gonna talk to both guys here. Let's let him finish. Come in, Zane Fry. Good Lord. Okay. Are you done? I might be, y'all. You know me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to give it up for both these men. They absolutely fought their hearts out. This was fighting the night. It was an absolute war. First, we'll talk. The blue corner. No, nope. hometown boy. Gotta give the hometown boy last word. He already got the bonus. So, here we go. Talk me through the fight. Did you think you did enough to win it? I know I did enough to win. Hometown boys on the scorecard. What are you talking about? VFG Columbus here. What are you talking about? 614. Anyway. Uh, but anyway. I, 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 right I, I'm right here. I can hear you. Uh, I like Chris, he's a good guy. We, 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 can, we can come back to this shit town and fucking win and run it back, I don't care. And all y'all talking out there, you pay for you pay for one of y'all out if you want to be right. Don't forget about that. Say you pay for it next time, I'm coming back. All right, my friend. Now, we're gonna talk to the hometown favorite. Give it up for Chris Green. Now, your opponent had a lot to say. I want to hear your side of things. He already wants to run it back. You had a great war here. What's next? Let's run it, baby. Anytime, man. Let's do it. I'll take on it. 
I like this guy. Just not the rest of these fuckers. So tell me, big question. You have a huge crowd here for you. What's it like having a war like this? You know, Zane said what he needed to say, but what's it like having a war like this in front of your family, your friends? What's it mean to you? Oh, it means a lot, man. What's up, Mason? Give it up for your boy. We're going to see it again. Chris Green, Zane Fry, I think we got some bad blood. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. New line cage fighting. Hey, main event, I'm sorry. This, I thought this was enough. <laughs>